it's, yeah, it's hard to get this clear because you know it's just so much smoke and mirrors. It just it it just is right. Canelo fails fails a drug test. Um, and he's getting ready to fight Triple G, and he's in something called VADA, some voluntary testing commission that Triple G had negotiated into the contract, or they both, however this ended up in the contract, however and why ever he agreed to it, this is the spot that he's in, and he fails it. I don't know how that paper works. I've never been under VADA. I never would be under VADA. I would never agree to uh, to something like that. It always stuns me when somebody does, when, when, when they would do something extraordinary to the government, to the commission's test. It always surprises me why you would elect to do that. So at any rate, I don't know that paperwork. I'm trusting somewhere in that paperwork, whether you want to call it HIPAA, if I'm using the right term, wherever you do away with your privacy, I don't have knowledge of that because I haven't been in on this, but that would be the very first question I had. If I fail a drug test today that is not through a commission, you had better know it, never know about it. You had better not, because whoever conducted that test and with whatever authority they have, it has to be contained within that scope. So the first thing that Canelo should be able to do is to say, says who? Now, I'm trusting since it did come out and since he spoke on it publicly instead of just keeping his mouth shut that he must have also signed something saying you can disclose the results of this test. Okay, fine. How does that carry over to the commission? I don't know. I know at first it didn't. It did not at all. You and I even did a thing on this saying, hey, I've never heard of somebody failing a test, but the commission not having reach over them. So we didn't know that rule and not attempting to weigh in an opinion on that. Just, But we learned something. Okay, they apparently they, they don't have reach over him. Well, then that changed. About two weeks had gone by, and all of a sudden the commission, uh, commission in Nevada suspends him. It's a temporary suspension. And this is where I offer to you that that we're seeing some smoke and mirrors, okay? I have a promoter's license. I know the rules that go along with that. And I can tell you now, if I put on an event, and yes, I always have the right to put with an asterisk at the bottom of the flyer and on all of the tickets and all of the promotional material, that the card is subject to change. And it is, and it has to be. I can also share with you that I must have a good faith belief that I can deliver to the fans what it is I am selling a ticket for. If I do not have a good faith belief that I can deliver the card that I am proposing, that's called fraud. And somebody goes to jail. It's illegal. So this fight between Canelo and Triple G, while Canelo is allegedly suspended, The tickets are still on sale. The promoter on record is still pushing that through commercialized materials, including billboards that I saw with my own eyes when I was in Las Vegas six days ago. So what in the hell is going on here? Somebody's in violation. Either the promoter needs his license taken and he needs to take down all commercial material because he does not have a good faith interest, good faith belief that he can deliver on his retail product known as a ticket. The athlete needs to be cleared or suspended and all needs to be stopped. That's your second option. Or third, we're seeing smoke and mirrors on the taxpayer's dime. Those are your three options. The interest of the promoter, the commerce, and the athlete's license, which is now allegedly suspended, are in direct conflict of one another. They cannot all three be happening simultaneously. They cannot. Yet they are. So you tell me who's at fault here. Is it the promoter? Is it the fighter? Or is it... The commission who's operating this on taxpayer dollars. And I'm suggesting to you that this decision is made 
that this decision was never actually up in the air to start with, that the show does move forward, which is why commercial outlets are still taking tickets, why betting is still taking place, and why no alternate has been offered. I suggest to you, because it is a backroom deal, on taxpayer dollars. When you put that in conjunction with the Adelaide Bird situation, I mean, you can only look away so many times. You, you can. You can only look away so many times before you go, okay, what, what are we doing here? And who's writing the check for this? And why? I'm just offering to you that, it, that, that it's very bizarre that you would suspend a fighter Call him in. Taxpayers are paying for that. That's relevant. That's as relevant as that's as relevant as government can possibly be, and a need for transparency when the people of Nevada are paying for it. Yet, less than a mile away sits the venue, which Marquee is still advertising the fight, and which box office is still selling tickets at a premium for. A promoter of license who must have a good faith effort that he can deliver and no alternate being suggested. What what are we doing here?